In a previous video, we learned that the fundamental accounting equation was assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We also learned that within these three categories are many different groupings called accounts, which help label and organize the many transactions recorded in accounting. While businesses often create their own names for these accounts, the accounts used in owner's equity are almost always the same and there are very specific uses for each one, so I wanted to take a minute to introduce you to these accounts. Note that the owner's equity section can look very different depending on the entity type used to register the business. For right now, we'll be looking only at the owner's equity category for a sole proprietor business. Later, we'll look at the differences for a corporation. The first account in owner's equity for a sole proprietorship is called capital. Capital is the account we use whenever an owner puts money into a business. So, if Jill decides to invest $1,000 into her business to help it grow, we would increase capital as part of that transaction. Because the money invested by the owner still belongs to the owner and would be paid back to them if the business were ever closed, capital always increases owner's equity. The next account in owner's equity for a sole proprietorship is called draws. Draws is used whenever an owner wants to withdraw or take money out of the business. So if Jill decided to take $300 out of her business funds for her own personal use, this would increase draws as part of that transaction. Because draws is an owner taking their share of the money out of the business, this reduces owner's equity. Now, some students get confused here because they think the owner is getting money, so their equity should go up. While the owner is getting money, it's their own personal cash that's increasing. And remember that the business entity concept of GAAP separates business and personal money. So we never look at the owner's personal cash as part of accounting. From a business perspective, Drawing money out of the owner's share of the business's cash means that they have less financial rights to the money that's left. That is why draws always reduces owner's equity. The last part of owner's equity for a sole proprietorship is net income. Net income, or the excess earnings of the business, belong to the owners and are always considered part of owner's equity, as are the revenue and expense accounts that make up net income. Revenue increases the amount of money left over for the owners, so revenue increases owner's equity. Expenses decrease the amount of money left for the owners, so expenses decrease owner's equity. So there are the four main parts of owner's equity. Capital, when owners put money in. Draws, when owners take money out. Revenue, when the business earns money. And expenses, when the business spends money on operations. Remember that capital and revenue always increase owner's equity and draws and expenses always decrease owner's equity. To learn more about equity accounts and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.